even if we did send unto them angels, and the dead did speak unto them, and we gathered together all things before their very eyes, they are not the ones to believe unless it is in Allah's plan. But most of them ignore the truth. Likewise did we make for every messenger an enemy, evil ones among men and jinns, inspiring each other with flowery discourses by way of deception. If thy Lord had so willed, they would not have done it. So leave them and what they forge. To such deceit let the hearts of those incline who have no faith in the hereafter. Let them delight in it, and let them earn from it what they may. Say, Shall I seek for judge other than Allah, when he it is who hath sent unto you the book, explained in detail? They know full well to whom we have given the book, that it hath been sent down from thy Lord in truth. Never be then of those who doubt. The word of thy Lord doth find its fulfilment in truth and in justice. None can change his words, for he is the one who heareth and knoweth all. Wert thou to follow the common run of those on earth, they will lead thee away from the way of Allah. They follow nothing but conjecture. They do nothing but lie. The Lord knoweth best who strayeth from his way. He knoweth best those who are rightly guided. So eat of meats on which Allah's name hath been pronounced, if ye have faith in his signs. Why should ye not eat of meats on which Allah's name hath been pronounced, when he hath explained to you in detail what is forbidden to you, except under compulsion of necessity? But many do mislead men by their low desires without knowledge. Thy Lord knoweth best those who transgress. Eschew all sin, open or secret. Those who earn sin will get due recompense for their earnings. Eat not of meats on which Allah's name hath not been pronounced. That would be impiety. But the evil ones ever inspire their friends to contend with you if ye were to obey them. Ye would indeed be pagans. Can he who was dead, to whom we gave life, and a light whereby he can walk amongst men, be like him who is in the depths of darkness, from which he can never come out? Thus to those without faith their own deeds seem pleasing. Thus have we placed leaders in every town, its wicked men, to plot and burrow therein but they only plot against their own souls, and they perceive it not. When there comes to them a sign from Allah, they say, We shall not believe until we receive one exactly like those received by Allah's messengers. Allah knoweth best where and how to carry out his mission. Soon will the wicked be overtaken by humiliation before Allah and a severe punishment for all their plots. Those whom Allah willeth to guide, he openeth their breast to Islam. Those whom he willeth to leave straying, he maketh their breast close and constricted, as if they had to climb up to the skies. Thus doth Allah lay abomination on those who refuse to believe. This is the way of thy Lord, leading straight. We have detailed the signs for those who receive admonition. For them will be a home of peace with their Lord. He will be their friend, because they practiced righteousness. One day, 
will he gather them all together and say, O ye assembly of jinns, much toll did ye take of men. Their friends amongst men will say, Our Lord, we made profit from each other, but alas we reached our term which thou didst appoint for us. He will say, The fire be your dwelling place. You will dwell therein for ever, except as Allah willeth. For thy Lord is full of wisdom and knowledge. Thus do we make the wrongdoers turn to each other, because of what they earn. O ye assembly of jinns and men! Came there not unto you messengers from amongst you, setting forth unto you my signs, and warning you of the meeting of this day of yours. They will say, We bear witness against ourselves. It was the life of this world that deceived them, so against themselves they will bear witness that they rejected faith. The messengers were sent thus, for thy Lord would not destroy the towns unjustly whilst their occupants were unwarned. To all our degrees or ranks according to their deeds. For thy Lord is not unmindful of anything that they do. Thy Lord is self-sufficient, full of mercy. If it were his will, he could destroy you and in your place appoint whom he will as your successors, even as he raised you up from the posterity of other people. All that hath been promised unto you will come to pass, nor can ye frustrate it in the least bit. Say, O my people, do whatever ye can, I will do my part. Soon will ye know who it is whose end will be best in the hereafter. Certain it is that the wrongdoers will not prosper. Out of what Allah hath produced in abundance in tilth and in cattle, they assigned him a share. They say according to their fancies, This is for Allah, and this for our partners. But the share of their partners reacheth not Allah, whilst the share of Allah reacheth their partners. Evil and unjust is their assignment. Even so, in the eyes of most of the pagans, their partners made alluring the slaughter of their children in order to lead them to their own destruction and cause confusion in their religion. If Allah had willed, they would not have done so. But leave alone them and what they forge. And they say that such and such cattle and crops are forbidden. And none should eat of them except those whom, as so they say, we wish. Further, there are cattle forbidden to yoke or burden, and cattle on which, at slaughter, the name of Allah is not pronounced, forging a lie against Allah's name. Soon will he requite them, for they forged. They say, What is in the wombs of such and such cattle is specially reserved for food for our men and forbidden to our women. But if it is stillborn, then all have shares therein for their false attribution of superstitions to Allah, he will soon punish them, for he is full of wisdom and knowledge. Lost are those who slay their children from folly, without knowledge, and forbid food which Allah hath provided for them, forging lies against Allah. They have indeed gone astray and heeded no guidance. It is he who produceth gardens, with trellises and without, and dates, and tilth with produce of all kinds, and olives and pomegranates, similar in kind and different in variety. 
eat of their fruit in their season, but render the dues that are proper on the day that the harvest is gathered. But waste not by excess, for Allah loveth not the wasters. Of the cattle are some for burden and some for meat. Eat what Allah hath provided for you, and follow not the footsteps of Satan, for he is to you an avowed enemy. Take eight head of cattle in four pairs, of sheep a pair, of goats a pair. Say, hath he forbidden the two males, or the two females, or the young which the wombs of the two females enclose? Tell me with knowledge if ye are truthful. Of camels a pair, and of oxen a pair. Say, hath he forbidden the two males, or the two females, or the young which the wombs of the two females enclose? Were ye present when Allah ordered you such a thing? But who doth more wrong than one who invents a lie against Allah to lead men astray without knowledge? For Allah guideth not people who do wrong. Say, I find not in the message received by me by inspiration any meat forbidden to be eaten by one who wishes to eat it unless it be dead meat, or blood poured forth, or the flesh of swine, for it is an abomination, or what is impious, meat on which a name has been invoked other than Allah's. But even so, if a person is forced by necessity, without willful disobedience, nor transgressing due limits, Thy Lord is oft forgiving, most merciful. For those who followed the Jewish law, we forbade every animal with undivided hoof, and we forbade them that fat of the ox and the sheep, except what adheres to their backs or their entrails, or is mixed up with a bone. This in recompense for their willful disobedience for we are true in our ordinances. If they accuse thee of falsehood, say, Your Lord is full of mercy, all-embracing, but from people in guilt never will his wrath be turned back. Those who give partners to Allah will say, If Allah had wished, we should not have given partners to him, nor would our fathers nor should we have had any forbidden things. So did their ancestors argue falsely until they tasted of our wrath. Say, have ye any certain knowledge? If so, produce it before us. Ye follow nothing but conjecture. Ye do nothing but lie. Say, with Allah is the argument that reaches home. If it had been his will, he could indeed have guided you all. Say, bring forward your witnesses to prove that Allah did forbid so and so. If they bring such witnesses, be not thou amongst them, nor follow thou the vain desires of such as treat our signs as falsehoods and such as believe not in the hereafter, for they hold others as equal with their guardian lord. Say, Come, I will rehearse what Allah hath really prohibited you from. Join not anything with him. Be good to your parents. Kill not your children on a plea of want. We provide sustenance for you and for them. Come not nigh to innocent deeds, whether open or secret. Take not life, which Allah hath made sacred, except by way of justice and law. Thus doth he command you, that ye may learn wisdom. And come not nigh to the orphan's property, except to improve it, 
until he attained the age of full strength. Give measure and weight with full justice. No burden do we place on any soul but that which it can bear. Whenever ye speak, speak justly, even if a near relative is concerned, and fulfill the covenant of Allah. Thus doth he command you, that ye may remember. Verily, this is my way, leading straight. Follow it, follow not other paths. They will scatter you about from his path. Thus doth he command you, that ye may be righteous. Moreover, we gave Moses the book, completing our favour to those who would do right and explaining all things in detail, and a guide and a mercy that they might believe in the meeting with their Lord. And this is a book which we have revealed as a blessing. So follow it and be righteous, that ye may receive mercy. Lest ye should say, The book was sent down to two peoples before us, and for our part we remained unacquainted with all that they learned by assiduous study. Or lest ye should say, If the book had only been sent down to us, we should have followed its guidance better than they. Now then hath come unto you a clear sign from your Lord, and a guide and a mercy. Then who could do more wrong than one who rejecteth Allah's signs and turneth away therefrom? In good time shall we requite those who turn away from our signs with a dreadful chastisement for their turning away. Are they waiting to see if the angels come to them or thy Lord himself, or certain of the signs of thy Lord? The day that certain of the signs of thy Lord do come, no good will it do to a soul to believe in them then, if it believed not before, nor earned righteousness through its faith. Say, Wait ye, we too are waiting. As for those who divide their religion and break up into sects, thou hast no part in them in the least. Their affair is with Allah. He will in the end tell them the truth of all that they did. He that doeth good shall have ten times as much to his credit. He that doeth evil shall only be recompensed according to his evil. No wrong shall be done unto them. Say, Verily my Lord hath guided me to a way that is straight, a religion of right, the path trod by Abraham the true in faith, and he certainly joined not gods with Allah. Say, Truly my prayer and my service of sacrifice, my life and my death, are all for Allah, the cherisher of the worlds. No partner hath he. This I am commanded, and I am the first of those who submit to his will. Say, Shall I seek for my Lord other than Allah, when he is the cherisher of all things that exist? Every soul draws the meed of its acts on none but itself. No bearer of burdens can bear of burdens can be the burden of another. Your return in the end is toward Allah. He will tell you the truth of the things wherein ye disputed. It is he who hath made you the inheritors of the earth. He hath raised you in ranks, some above others, that he may try you in the gifts he hath given you. For thy Lord is quick in punishment. Yet he is indeed oft forgiving, most merciful. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Alif, Lam, 
Mim Sad A book revealed unto thee, so let thy heart be oppressed no more by any difficulty on that account, that with it thou mightst warn the erring, and a reminder to the believers. Follow, O men, the revelation given unto you from your Lord, and follow not as friends or protectors other than him. Little it is ye remember of admonition. How many towns have we destroyed for their sins? Our punishment took them on a sudden by night, or while they slept for their afternoon rest. When thus our punishment took them, no cry did they utter but this, Indeed, we did wrong. Then shall we question those to whom our message was sent, and those by whom we sent it. And verily, we shall recount their whole story with knowledge, for we were never absent at any time or place. The balance that day will be true to a nicety. Those whose scale of good will be heavy will prosper. Those whose scale will be light will find their souls in perdition, for that they wrongfully treated our signs. It is we who have placed you with authority on earth, and provided you therein with means for the fulfilment of your life. Small are the thanks that ye give. It is we who created you and gave you shape. Then we bade the angels prostrate to Adam, and they prostrated. Not so Iblis. He refused to be of those who bow down. Allah said, What prevented thee from bowing down when I commanded thee? He said, I am better than he. Thou didst create me from fire, and him from the clay. Allah said, Get thee down from it, the garden. It is not for thee to be arrogant here. Get out, for thou art of the meanest of creatures. He said, Give me respite till the day they are raised up. Allah said, Be thou among those who have respite. He said, Because thou hast thrown me out of the way, lo, I will lie in wait for them on thy straight way. Then will I assault them from before them and behind them, from their right and their left. Nor wilt thou find in most of them gratitude for thy mercies. Allah said, Get out from this, disgraced and expelled. If any of them follow thee, hell will I fill with you all. O Adam, dwell thou and thy wife in the garden and enjoy its good things as ye wish. But approach not this tree, lest you become of the unjust. Then began Satan to whisper suggestions to them, in order to reveal to them their shame that was hidden from them before. He said, Your Lord only forbade you this tree, lest ye should become angels or such beings as live for ever. And he swore to them both that he was their sincere adviser. So by deceit he brought about their fall. When they tasted of the tree, their shame parts became manifest to them, and they began to sow together the leaves of the garden over their bodies. And their Lord called unto them, Did I not forbid you that tree, and tell you that Satan was an avowed enemy unto you? They said, Our Lord, we have wronged our own souls. If thou forgive us not, and bestow not upon us thy mercy, we shall certainly be lost. Allah said, Get ye down, with enmity between yourselves. On earth will be your dwelling place and your means of livelihood for a time. 
he said, Therein shall ye live, and therein shall ye die, but from it shall ye be taken out at last. O ye children of Adam, we have bestowed raiment upon you to cover your shame, as well as to be an adornment to you. But the raiment of righteousness, that is the best. Such are among the signs of Allah that they may receive admonition. O ye children of Adam, let not Satan seduce you in the same manner as he got your parents out of the garden, stripping them of their raiment to expose their shame. For he and his tribe watch you from a position where ye cannot see them. We made the Satan's friends only to those without faith. When they commit indecency, they say, We found our fathers doing so, and Allah commanded us thus. Say, Nay, Allah never command what is indecent. Do ye say of Allah what ye know not? Say, My Lord hath commanded justice, and that ye set your whole selves to him at every time and place of prayer, and call upon him, making your devotion sincere. Such as he created you in the beginning, so shall ye return. Some he hath guided, others have deserved the loss of their way, in that they took the Satan's ones in preference to Allah, for their friends and protectors, and think that they receive guidance. O children of Adam, wear your beautiful apparel at every time and place of prayer. Eat and drink, but waste not by excess, for Allah loveth not the wasters. Say, Who hath forbidden the beautiful gifts of Allah, which he hath produced for his servants? and the things clean and pure which he hath provided for sustenance. Say, they are in the life of this world for those who believe and purely for them on the day of judgment. Thus do we explain the signs in detail for those who know. Say, the things that my Lord hath indeed forbidden are indecent deeds, whether open or secret, sins and trespasses against truth or reason, assigning of partners to Allah, for which he hath given no authority, and saying things about Allah of which ye have no knowledge. To every people is a term appointed. When their term is reached, not an hour can they cause delay, nor an hour can they advance it in anticipation. O ye children of Adam, whenever there come to you messengers from amongst you, rehearsing my signs unto you, those who are righteous and mend their lives, on them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. But those who reject our signs and treat them with arrogance, they are companions of the fire, to dwell therein forever. Who is more unjust than one who invents a lie against Allah or rejects his signs? For such their portion appointed must reach them from the book of decrees, until, when our messengers of death arrive and take their souls, they say, where are the things that ye used to invoke besides Allah? They will reply, They have left us in the lurch, and they will bear witness against themselves that they had rejected Allah. He will say, Enter ye in the company of the peoples who passed away before you, men and jinns, into the fire. Every time a new people enters, it curses its sister people that went before, until they follow each other. 
all into the fire. Saith the last about the first, Our Lord, it is these that misled us, so give them a double punishment in the fire. He will say, Doubled for all, but this ye do not know. Then the first will say to the last, See then, no advantage have ye over us, so taste ye of the chastisement for all that ye did. To those who reject our signs and treat them with arrogance, no opening will there be of the gates of heaven, nor will they enter the garden until the camel can pass through the eye of the needle. Such is our reward for those in sin. For them there is hell, as a couch below, and folds and folds of covering above. Such is our requital of those who do wrong. But those who believe and work righteousness, no burden do we place on any soul but that which it can bear. They will be companions of the garden, therein to dwell for ever. And we shall remove from their hearts any rancour. Beneath them will be rivers flowing, and they shall say, Praise be to Allah, who hath guided us to this felicity. Never could we have found guidance had it not been for the guidance of Allah. Indeed, it was the truth that the messengers of our Lord brought unto us. And they shall hear the cry, Behold the garden before you, ye have been made its inheritors for your deeds of righteousness. The companions of the garden will call out to the companions of the fire, we have indeed found the promises of our Lord to us true. Have you also found your Lord's promises true? They shall say, Yes. But a crier shall proclaim between them, The curse of Allah is on the wrongdoers. Those who would hinder men from the path of Allah and would seek in it something crooked, they were those who denied the hereafter. Between them shall be a veil, and on the heights will be men who would know every one by his marks. They will call out to the companions of the garden, Peace on you! They have not entered it, but still hoped to enter it. When their eyes shall be turned towards the companions of the fire, they will say, Our Lord, send us not to the company of the wrongdoers. The men on the heights will call to certain men whom they will know from their marks, saying, Of what profit to you were your hordes and your arrogant ways? Behold, are these not the men whom you swore that Allah with his mercy would never bless? Enter ye the garden. No fear shall be on you, nor shall ye grieve. The companions of the fire will call to the companions of the garden. Pour down to us water or anything that Allah doth provide for your sustenance. They will say, both these things hath Allah forbidden to those who rejected him, such as took their religion to be mere amusement and play and were deceived by the life of the world. That day shall we forget them as they forgot the meeting of this day of theirs and as they were wont to reject our signs. For we had certainly sent unto them a book based on knowledge, which we explained in detail. A guide and a mercy to all who believe. Are they waiting for its fulfilment? 
on the day it is fulfilled, those who disregarded it before will say, The messengers of our Lord did indeed bring true tidings. Have we no intercessors now to intercede on our behalf? Or could we be sent back? Then should we behave differently from our behaviour in the past. In fact, they will have lost their souls, and the things they forged will leave them in the lurch. Your guardian Lord is Allah, who created the heavens and the earth in six days. Then he settled himself on the throne. He draweth the night as a veil o'er the day, each seeking the other in rapid succession. And the sun, the moon, and the stars, all are subservient by his command. Verily, his are the creation and the command. Blessed be Allah, the cherisher and sustainer of the worlds. Call on your Lord with humility and in private, for Allah loveth not those who trespass beyond bounds. Do no mischief on the earth after it hath been set in order, but call on him with fear and longing in your hearts, for the mercy of Allah is always near to those who do good. It is he who sendeth the winds like heralds of glad tidings, going before his mercy. When they have carried the heavy-laden clouds, we drive them to a land that is dead, make rain to descend thereon, and produce every kind of harvest therewith. Thus shall we raise up the dead. Perchance ye may remember. From the land that is clean and good, by the will of its cherisher, springs up produce, rich after its kind. But from the land that is bad, springs up nothing but that which is scanty. Thus do we explain the signs by various symbols to those who are grateful. We sent Noah to his people. He said, O my people, worship Allah. Ye have no other God but him. I fear for you the punishment of a dreadful day. The leaders of his people said, Ah, we see the in evident error. He said, O my people, no wandering is there in my mind. On the contrary, I am a messenger from the Lord and cherisher of the worlds. I but convey to you the message of my Lord. Sincere is my advice to you, and I know from Allah something that ye know not. Do ye wonder that there hath come to you a reminder from your Lord through a man of your own people? to warn you, so that ye may fear Allah and haply receive his mercy. But they rejected him, and we delivered him, and those with him in the ark. But we overwhelmed in the flood those who rejected our signs. They were indeed a blind people. To the Ad people we sent Hud one of their own brethren. He said, O my people, worship Allah, ye have no other God but him. Will ye not fear Allah? The leaders of the unbelievers among his people said, Ah, we see thou art a folly, and we think thou art a liar. He said, O my people, there is no folly in me, but I am a messenger from the Lord and cherisher of the worlds. I but convey to you the message of my Lord. I am to you a sincere and trustworthy adviser. Do ye wonder that there hath come to you a message from your Lord through a man of your own people to warn you? 
call in remembrance that he made you inheritors after the people of Noah, and gave you a stature tall among the nations. Call in remembrance the benefits ye have received from Allah, so that ye may prosper. They said, Comest thou to us, that we may worship Allah alone, and give up that which our fathers used to worship? Bring us what thou threatenest us with, if so be that thou tellest the truth. He said, Punishment and wrath have already come upon you from your Lord. Dispute ye with me over names which ye have devised, ye and your fathers, without authority from Allah? Then wait. I am amongst you, also waiting. We saved him and those who adhered to him by our mercy, and we cut off the roots of those who rejected our signs and did not believe. To the Talmud people we sent Salih, one of their own brethren. He said, O my people, worship Allah, ye have no other God but him. Now hath come unto you a clear sign from your Lord. This she-camel of Allah is a sign unto you. So leave her to graze in Allah's earth, and let her come to no harm or ye shall be seized with a grievous punishment. And remember how he made you inheritors after the Ad people, and gave you habitations in the land. Ye build for yourselves palaces and castles in open plains, and carve out homes in the mountains. So bring to remembrance the benefits ye have received from Allah, and refrain from evil and mischief on the earth. The leaders of the arrogant party among his people said to those who were reckoned powerless, those among them who believed, Know ye indeed that Salih is a messenger from his Lord? They said, We do indeed believe in the revelation which has been sent through him. The arrogant party said, For our part we reject what ye believe in. Then they hamstrung the she-camel, and insolently defied the order of their lord, saying, O Sali, bring about thy threats, if thou art a messenger of Allah. So the earthquake took them unawares, and they lay prostrate in their homes in the morning. So Sali left them, saying, O my people, I did indeed convey to you the message for which I was sent by my Lord. I gave you good counsel, but ye love not good counsellors. We also sent Lut. He said to his people, Do ye commit lewdness such as no people in creation ever committed before you? For ye practice your lusts on men in preference to women. Ye are indeed a people transgressing beyond bounds. And his people gave no answer but this. They said, Drive them out of your city. These are indeed men who want to be clean and pure. But we saved him and his family, except his wife. She was one of those who lagged behind. And we rained down on them a shower of brimstone. Then see what was the end of those who indulged in sin and crime. To the Madian people we sent Shuaib, one of their own brethren. He said, O my people, worship Allah. Ye have no other god but him. Now hath come unto you a clear sign from your Lord. Give just measure and wait, nor withhold from the people the things that are their due, and do no mischief on the earth after it has been set in order. That will be best for you, if ye have faith. And squat not on every road, breathing threats, 
hindering from the path of Allah those who believe in him, and seeking in it something crooked. But remember how ye were little, and he gave you increase. And see what was the end of those who did mischief. And if there is a party among you who believes in the message with which I have been sent, and a party which does not believe, hold yourselves in patience until Allah doth decide between us. For he is the best to decide. Even if we did send unto them angels, and the dead did speak unto them, and we gathered together all things before their very eyes, they are not the ones to believe unless it is in Allah's plan. <laughs> 